Hi, in this video I'll show you to create a table of all possible combinations from two or more lists. And this is using Power Query. So let's say for example we have a table and this is, these are both small tables. This is a list of A, B, and C and we have our list of 1, 2, and 3. And maybe we want a table that has all combinations of A, 1, 2, and 3, and then B, 1, 2, and 3, and C, 1, 2, and 3. So that's going to be a table with nine entries right because we've got three here three times three is nine and we're going to have nine entries those are all the possible combinations nine possible combinations let's see how we do that first i'll turn this into a table Control t my table does have headers click ok this table Control t my table does have headers oh, Control t is also the same as insert table you can see if i hover over that Control t shows up i can do that click ok I'm going to bring these into Power Query, each into Power Query. So go under Data and from Table. And I'll keep that, I'll keep the default table name there. That's fine. We're going to do a close and load to a connection. We only want to create a connection. So I have my first connection there, Table 12. This will be my second connection. Go to Data from Table and Range. I'll accept the default table name, table 13. This will also be close and load and make a connection. Click OK. Now what I need to do now is just to take one of these, any one of these tables. If I wanted to this list to show up first, I'll take table 12. I'll reference this. And I'm going to insert and add column here. Go to custom column. And for my table name, I just need to reference that other table. Table, that was table 13, I believe. Click OK. I have my table here. Click on the double-sided arrows. All I want is list 2 here. Uncheck that. Click OK. And now you notice I've got A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, B4. As I mentioned before, it's nine possible combinations. I can keep this as a two column table or I can merge this. I can add a column, select my both columns here. I can merge it. Let's say I want to have a dash here as the delimiter. I can have a dash here. So that will give me my merge column. Click close load. I will load onto a new worksheet our new table, a new worksheet, click OK. We have our table with the many different combinations here. But what if, what if we had more than two lists? Let's say, for example, we have four lists. And in each list, there are multiple numbers or multiple records. This one has up to control, let's see, control down arrow, 45 numbers each. You can see list one, list two, list three, list four. They're, they will all have the same amount of numbers, 45 numbers. Let's, let's say we wanted to create a table that has all the possible combinations. One, 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 one. The next row will be one, 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 two, and so on and so on. It's going to be a big table. It's going to be over 4 million records. And I'll show you how to kind of get that together. And there's not really a way for you to pull this back into Excel because Excel it only takes up to a million rows but what you can do is you can separate it and you can copy it onto a notepad and save it as a CSV file or a text file and that'll take it. Now there's other ways you can save it you can probably use something like DAX Studio it's it's a, a application software program and I think it's by Matt Allington it's probably a pretty if you search on the web how to export large files from Power Query to CSV, you'll see that there's a mention of that. But if you didn't want to go that route and you just, and you just wanted to put it into Notepad, you can, you can kind of hack it with this method. So let's see how this gets done. So as before, we're going to take our range of data, this one column table, turn it into a table. Control T. Click OK. I'll call this one List 1. Control T, this will be list two. This will be list three. Control T. And 
we have list four here. Control T and that becomes list four. So all these are going to be brought into Power Query as a connection only. Go to table and range, uh, close and load. That's a connection only, list one. Go to data from table from Power Query. Close and load. You know, you'll notice that I click close and load, and my particular Excel Power Query is set to default to load it as a connection only. With the usual Excel Power Query installations, when you do a close and load, it defaults by putting it as a table. I reconfigured it to have it only as a connection when it does the close and load. So click OK here, and that becomes list two. Over here, table range, close and load is list three, and for list four, table range, close and load as list four. So we have our four list. So now what I'm doing is I need to combine them all together. I'm going to reference list one, go to add column, custom column, and this would be list two. Click OK, click my double-sided arrow, uncheck that, click OK. We have one, 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 two, one, three. Now I'm going to do the same for list three and list four. Add another column, list three, click OK. Don't click my double-sided arrow, that's unchecked, click OK, and add my fourth column, list four. Click OK. Click my double-sided arrow, make sure that that is unchecked there. So now I've got my many possible combinations. Now you'll probably notice that this is a very large table. You have 45 records here, 45 records here, 45 records here, 45 records here. 45 times 45 times 45 times 45 is going to be a little over 4 million records. Let's see how many exactly there are. So I'm going to click close and load and load it as a connection only but load it to the data model so it's going to count and tell me how many I've got. So while it's loading right now it's going to take a long time and it's loading pretty slowly and you'll notice that it does that because it's a large file. I'll go ahead and speed up the video to see So we can see here, we've got a little over 4 million rows that were loaded. So there's a little over 4 million records here. Let's change this. All right? so that was just kind of to prove that we have that many records. Let's do a little bit change here. Let's, let's change the load to parameter so it doesn't load into the data model anymore because we really don't need that. Click OK. Yes, we don't. that's OK. And it's connection only. It, let me re rename this. Let's call this list combo. Double click. Let's open it and do some changes in here. And what we want to do is if we wanted to take all this and put it into one table into a CSV file, let's do some changes. We're going to merge all of this together. So I'll click, press the shift key and press the last um, column there. Go to add column and let's merge these columns. And the separator that we'll use is not here, so let's use a dash. And we'll we'll keep we'll keep that as merged. Click OK. And now we have a merged column. We don't need these other columns here. Right click, remove columns. And here, since what we're gonna do is we need to take this piecemeal. Let's take the first million, then the second million, then the third million, and export them out, put into a CSV file together, and then we'll all combine it. We don't want to do all four million into the table because Excel, it's not going to support four million rows. It supports a little over a million rows. So we're going to divide it into millions. What we need to do is add an index column so it helps us filter it. We'll do index column from one, so we're going to have a first million there. So 
what I'm going to do is save this as a connection, and I'll just reference this like I did with the other one. Close and load. This is, it's already a connection only table. Okay, let's reference our list combo query. Right click, reference. We'll call this one the first million, 1M. And we're going to look for anything that's under 1 million in this index. So we'll set the filter to less than or equal to 1 million. And so this is how we're going to partition out our tables. That's 1 million there. And click close and load. Load to a worksheet, not a connection. Let's load to a worksheet. It will be a new worksheet. Click OK. And this is what we're going to do is we're going to take our first million and then we're going to do another reference to do our second million, third million, fourth million, and then we'll combine them all together in Notepad and save it as a CSV file because we can't put it into Excel. We can't put all four million into Excel because Excel is not going to take over four million records in one worksheet. And so that's how we're going to save it as a CSV file. So I'll let this go a little bit because it's going to take a little bit of time. So, so now we have our first million rows that are loaded. So if I do a control down arrow, you'll see it's down to my millionth record. Control up arrow to go back. So let's get our subsequent million numbers, our second, third, and fourth. And I, So let's get our second millionth row, second millionth table. I will right click, reference, and in this particular instance, we're going to get the index number that's between 1 million and 1 and 2 million. So my filters are going to be between 1 million and 1. And then 2 million. Click OK. And close and load. We'll load this to a new worksheet, so a different worksheet. And table, new worksheet. Click OK, and I should have called this instead of list-combo2, list-2m. And I'll go ahead and speed up this video because this one's going to take a while too. So now we have our second million records that are loaded. Let's see, we have, we have 1 million to 1, control down arrow, up to 2 million, control up arrow. And we can just do this for the next 3 million and a little over four million, and I'll, and I'll just speed up this video, so you have to, you don't have to see me go through it. And let's change the name of this one first. Right click, rename. We'll call this dash two m. Press enter, and let's reference this again. Right click, reference, and now we'll do the next three million and the next, next four million. I'll go ahead and speed up the video, so you don't have to see me go through this again. So here we have our 4 million plus records, right? 4 million and 1, control down arrow, control down arrow, let's see. Let's try again, control down arrow, all the way to 4 million 100,625, control up arrow. So that's, those are all our data. Rename this. This one is dash 5M, all right? And now, all we need to do is take all this data, our sheet 9, which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our 4 million plus data, and just put it into a notepad and save it as a CSV file. So how do we do that? So now it's just basically a process of copying and pasting all our data from our sheet 9 to sheet 13 into notepad. So I'll select from here, control shift down arrow, control C to copy, go to notepad, control V to paste. That's going to paste all that data there. You can see that the last set of data here is here. It matches. Let's go into sheet 10. We're going to do the same thing. Control home to go back up to the top. 
select A2, control shift down arrow, control C to copy, go back into notepad, and let's control V to paste, and that's going to paste our second round of data there. You can see that matches. Let's go into sheet 11, do the same thing, and I'll go ahead and speed up this video so you don't have to see it go through all the processes, but we're going to basically put everything together into one notepad file. So now we see we have our last set of data here. I'll save this. I'll just save this as any old text file. Let's just call this test. And we'll just save this one as a regular text file. So there's our text file. If I go under file, exit, let's look and see what it looks like in Windows Explorer. So I have my Windows Explorer open. You can see my text file here and it's about 48 megs and that's where I have most of my data. Now we can bring this data into another file and if I open it, double click to open, you'll see I have my text file available. It's pretty large but it's text file that we can use and, and it's a text file that we can import into other applications or we can use in our data analysis. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.